So this is the old speed shop. Been in this location since 2000. Yeah, 2002. I was in a little shithole down the street here with my dyno set up um, before that. But uh, since 2002, we've been in this place here. And uh, you can see it's, it hasn't changed much on this side. We just keep, as we grow, we just take on next suite, next suite, and now we've got, uh, we've got three buildings to go through. But anyway, you see, so it's a normal speed shop, um, but we have a lot of, a lot of performance bikes in here. We have guys from all around the country sending in their bikes to get motors built, turbocharged, um, things of that nature. There's one of our race bikes. Uh, guys are still building lay frame bikes. Um, we're still selling our salt glide, our salt uh, lay frame bikes. We got uh, four of them that we're doing for some guys in, in Europe right now. So uh, you can see that uh, our bikes, we cut them so they lay frame, put all that suspension and stuff on them. We'll put our signature series uh, assault wheels on them. And uh, those assault wheels are kind of crazy to make and super expensive because we start off with a big block of aluminum and uh, we can't buy blanks for it, so we're gonna whittle it out from, from scratch. Uh, this is an ST, this is the, this is a uh, late model Road Glide with a 131 in it. We did it for a good friend of ours. It's got an assassin kit on the bike. Makes over 200 horse, 200 foot pounds. And uh, so she's a runner. Uh, race bike there, put a new turbo kit on this, on this V-Rod. I'm sending that to New Zealand, along with uh, my dad's shovel head. Seen that to New Zealand too, so we work on everything. And then we got dyno, our dyno room is in here. Um, we do spend a lot of time in our dyno, developing products and uh, tuning bikes for, for locals, local shops. Watch out, almost get run over. So there's our start to our machine shop. We make all our parts in-house, all trust products made in the USA. The starting of our velocity stack for our intake, for our intakes, okay? Nice radius inlet. And this is what goes into our, into our snap stack. And you can see that on the back, we have magnets in our snap stack. It's all patented. Our air cleaner is the only air cleaner in the world that has magnets that hold the that hold the velocity stack in. Okay, so we don't have to worry about hardware coming loose and going into the motor. It's, uh, it's, it's a nice and unique part for Trask. So it's more machines. Uh, we got uh, a few lays, a few mills going. We make everything from our axles for our, uh, our swing arm kits, our stainless axles that are drilled all the way through so they're nice and light but strong. Our own foot pegs, these are truss foot pegs. What's unique about our foot pegs is uh, the spline, right? The spline on the inside so the peg can be, can be adjusted. Okay, that's unique to us. And I'll walk, walk you through the other departments. This is a, uh, this is usually where we do our R&D. Right? We'll bring a bike in here, and usually we got a lift in here. We'll put the bike up on the lift, and then, uh, and then my guy will go ahead and grab the barrel arm, and he'll measure it and scan the part, right? So we got the scanner right here. You'll measure it, and you'll scan the bike, right? And then you'll get all the points, so we can put it into CAD, and uh, put it in the CAD and then we can go through and we can, we can adjust from there, right? So it gives us all the points to start off with uh, from the factory and then we can reverse engineer it and then we go ahead and we know where all the points are in space and it puts it in the CAD and we can develop a product from it. Uh, we, so it makes it a lot easier for developing exhaust systems. It's a lot less trial and error. We can go ahead and we can do all the bend layouts on the computer, send it to the bender and we can get it pretty close and then we can go and fine tune from there. Uh, and then we put on our dyno, we do full, full, full analysis on our dyno as far as horsepower and torque, where it makes the power, and we can adjust the baffle accordingly, adjust the head pipes accordingly to uh, get the most power out of the bike. Um, now, you can't make one pipe work for every size motor, right? So you gotta look at it and go, okay, this pipe 
where, where am I going to, what's this pipe going to be used for? Is it going to be a street driven pipe? Is it going to be a high RPM pipe? And you can get, you can get, uh, you can compromise with it a little bit, but uh, a pipe that's going to work on a, on a 143 inch motor to get to 180 horsepower is going to work different on a 107 stock inch motor with a stock camshaft. Okay, so keep that in mind when, you, when you're picking out an exhaust pipe. Pick out an exhaust pipe that's going to be for your riding or whether it's going to be a street bike or race bike. We, our, our, high, our, our big sexy pipe, that's made for the bigger inch motor. For the guys that run big, big cubic inch motor and big camshafts and wants to get a little more power out of it, that pipe is ideal for your, uh, for your big power bike. Okay, that's so our little turbo room. We put turbochargers together in here. Right, so it's just a little turbo assembly area. You can see we buy a lot of turbochargers and uh, we build kits, right? Everything we make in this house, this is a, this is a uh, boost gauge mount that we put mount to the plenum, on the back of the plenum, right? Just more assembly, right? Now I'll walk you through into the warehouse. Yeah. This is the reason why I'm broke. I spent all my money on parts, building parts, building inventory, so you guys have, have the stuff in stock. Right? So we have everything, everything here. So you can see all the packages, all Charles branded products. Okay. More exhaust pipes we make. You can see we're running out of space. And now walking over to our fab shop. This is our fabrication building. This is where we make all our exhaust pipes and uh, get them ready to go to our coating shop. Now kids, this is where you go if you don't go to school and you don't get some great good grades. You'll be in the polishing shop. Now, nah, actually these guys here are talented. They can make metal polish like, like a mirror. Right? It's just dirty and it's just a little little, little dirty, but uh, keep all the, all the sanding outside. So all the exhaust pipes, they get sanded before they get, they get welded together. They get brushed, so it gives a nice good finish. Okay, so again, there again, you can see Tras products made here in the USA. Quality products. We don't, there's no compromise. Right? We're not going to put out junk. We're going to put out good quality products. See our mufflers. This is John, our top, our top welder. He's here. He's putting our mufflers together. So you can see. You can see our mufflers. They're all done by hand. All right. Well, nice welded brackets, nice baffling, right? You look like some, it looks like a machine, did it? John Boy's the machine. Okay, so we got multiple stations, multiple stations that put the pipes together. Let's see. And you can see, Truss, Truss exhaust systems are the only ones in the world that, that utilize a double slip fit joint here. Okay, we're unique in that fact. It's a no, it's a no, uh, it's a no leak fit, fit. So yeah, there's no need for a clamp here and it allows the muffler to, 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 to grow and contract under heat, right? So that's the benefit with doing a double slip is a no leak seal and allows the muffler to move as, as the pipe grows. Um, the reason no one does it, we're the only ones that do it, is because it's a huge pain in the neck. Um, it's a lot of labor, and you're trying to weld three pieces here, right? So we've got, we got it dialed in to where we can make them long, they, they last, and it's strong. Nice mandrel bent tubes, TIG welded, hand TIG welded, purge. They run purge on the inside, so it, uh, it makes the weld strong. All these are all made in-house, all the bungs, all the rings are all made in-house. Makes for a quality pipe. 
Okay, and this is our turbocharger. This is our turbocharger area. This is where we mock up all our turbochargers. Here's one of our race bikes. This is our second race bike. So it's in here getting some welding done on the, on the tail section. And uh, so we got Sam over here doing some welding. And like I said before, all our stuff is, is hand welded and, and uh, by, by skilled, skilled guys in house. Okay. Now this is our, this is our tubing bending shop. All the material comes in the back here, gets loaded on the shelf, then it gets cut and then it goes through our bender, our full stack, full electric CNC bender. Okay, so that, that allows us to have repeatability and uh, make sure that the pipes are the same every time and quality. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. So, So yeah, without a machine like this, it's uh, it's very hard to, to build a pipe and build a build a production pipe and, and make it to where it's it's gonna fit the bike every time. These pipes put in our fixtures and welded the correct way will make sure that the pipes fit, make sure that the quality on them is good and it's gonna have good flow and uh, have little chance of failure. So, I don't know, man. I've shown you, shown you a few of our, few of our departments. We have a coating department too that we do all our own coatings, so we can, uh, uh, we can make sure the quality is good, make sure our time frame is good, and we only do our own stuff. Um, right? We don't make, we don't, we're not doing screen doors one minute and furniture and equipment the next. Right? We're doing just trust performance products. We can make sure that they're the same every time. The quality is perfect, and uh, we can control it. So. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys uh, got a good look at Trust Performance and and uh, what we're all about. We're here. We employ we employ roughly 40 guys, uh, Trust Performance, and uh, we're still a relatively small company, but we still got our we still got hands on it, and we're still able to to move and maneuver as we need to. So thanks for coming by.